Yep. Calvin, you, yeah, there's three true freshmen who really have shined recently on this offense. And, and this class seems to really be playing at a high level. Do you notice sort of a, a relationship that's really close with the class that's that's below you, you know, with Jalen and Jonah, and now Josh had a great game? I mean, the, I mean, those guys, like, from day one, they, they worked hard since they got here, and then in the scrimmages, they played very well, so they were, they were always in the mix. So when they got their chance, I just knew they were going to do good because when they came in, they, they played extremely well right from the get-go, so. How has uh, Jalen really progressed, you know, especially the past couple games, uh, really talking about Ole Miss, but especially the last one against Kentucky now moving forward. Really how, you know, I guess how has he progressed throughout the season? He always has been a pretty poised guy, but he, he's just getting, like, deeper into the playbook. He's along in his reads better. And uh, he's just getting a lot smarter with the attention to detail and a dime a lot. Just the, just like the little things, he's getting better at. So that's happening him a lot, I, I think. How, how vocal has he been in the locker room? Because after the game Saturday, you talked a little bit about how he said, come on, guys, let's let's get it together at halftime. How much of a vocal role does he take? Yeah, he's pretty good at that. I mean, he likes to talk up. I mean, uh, say somebody, when we're, when we're doing not that good, he's one of the guys that'll talk up. Like, he's, he's pretty, he's pretty, pretty good leader for a freshman. He's pretty good at that. Is that something that he was doing from from day one, or is he kind of is, has that role grown in the yeah, last few weeks? I feel like it's grown when he when he noticed he started when he noticed that he's going to be the guy that, at quarterback. That's when he started to take up that role. Talk about your performance. Got two touchdowns, probably about a half about a dozen catches. Just how how, how good is that for you? I mean, it's pretty good. I'm pretty happy about it. And uh, you get to see your, you get to see your brother catch that pass. And what do you feel? I guess that. Pretty yeah, emotional day, right? Pretty happy for my brother out there, but they didn't get the win, fortunately. But I was pretty happy for him. Did you feel like your connection with Jalen got even better this past game? Obviously, a huge game for you. Uh, did, did anything change? I mean, not really. Just went out there and played football. Calvin, I remember uh, in the past, I believe you told us that uh, you, know, you really enjoy playing on the road in the SEC. Uh, what are you looking forward to this weekend? And, you know. I guess, why do you enjoy it so much? Uh, just that everybody's against us. Just want to hope there's a lot of people there. It's just like when there's a lot of people there and just everybody's watching, it's loud. Just feel like they're coming to clutch and I feel like a lot of our teammates and players are the same. When it is that loud and then, you know, maybe the team scores or y'all have a big play and the crowd kind of goes silent, you know, is that a big moment for you? Uh, I mean, sometimes. I just, I just like when a lot of people watch me. Well, makes me play better. Coach Saban always preaches, just worry about the next play, win that play. When you're entering a stretch like this, how helpful is that mindset? I mean, that's very helpful because sometimes if you don't, you can just keep getting worse and worse. And so if you just do that, that helps on making another play after that bad play. So I use that too. Okay. Thanks, Cal. Thanks.